In the grounds of the New Plymouth Boys High School, New Zealand teachers study and practice latest methods of physical education. More and more, this type of training is replacing old methods in our modern schools. Exercises are planned that will develop all parts of the body, for these teachers know how much healthy bodies mean healthy minds. The rhythm of dancing plays an important part in the exercises for girls. To this, the first large school in physical education ever held in New Zealand came 130 teachers from all over the country. They've learnt some of the latest methods of physical education and for the youngsters of our schools, there are some grand new exercises on the programme. Among New Zealand's exports, almost rating with wool, butter and frozen meat, is ryegrass seed. Here on a farm in the Manawatu, ryegrass which has been cut and left to dry is now being gathered up and fed into a threshing machine. This combined harvester threshes the ryegrass and separates the seed from the hay. The machine throws out the hay, bags the seed and sews up the bags all at the same time. Following the harvester comes the baler, picking up the hay and pressing it into bales. Valuable winter food for the farmer's stock. the work brings bales of hay for the farmer and bags of ryegrass seed for export. Seed that will help to bring new life to the pastures of Britain. Three weeks out from Java, the hospital ship Tasman today brings to Auckland 426 Dutch evacuees from the Netherlands East Indies. Here to rest and recuperate after suffering the hardships of internment camps, these people will stay four months in the Dominion at Auckland, Wellington and in the South Island. Disembarked, they are taken to Aronia, a transit centre at Remuera, established by the Netherlands East Indies Welfare Organisation. Here in pleasant new surroundings, the children quickly settle down, while the adults get organised to live comfortably. From their own government, they receive £30,000 in individual advances to buy for themselves whatever they need. They have also to pay four guineas a week for board and lodgings at the transit centres. But only 150 remain in Auckland, for the Dutch flag flies above what was once a whack camp at Miramar, Wellington, and 170 of them are arriving here. This will be their home a home prepared for them by their own people. Already the sea voyage has improved the health of these evacuees, and now rest and relaxation, good food, and freedom to come and go as they please will soon set them up. For the children, there are toys to welcome them, and they find them quickly. Some of these youngsters were born in internment camps. The war caught up some before they could walk. Now, ahead of them all, are four happy months. Here is the first jet plane in New Zealand, a Gloucester Meteor being assembled at Hobsonville. 
With an armament of four 20mm cannon, two on each side, the Meteor was driven by a gas turbine jet unit, a Rolls-Royce development of the original designed by Air Commodore Frank Whittle. Another feature is the tricycle undercarriage. The term jet propulsion is misleading, for the jet does not actually push the plane forward. In these combustion chambers, air and fuel are ignited and expelled at the back. But it's not this discharge which drives the plane. A diagram explains simple principles. The burning gases in the combustion chambers exert equal pressures on all sides if completely enclosed. But if the gases are allowed to escape, the pressure at that point is removed leaving the opposite pressure, which drives the plane forward. And now in a special test flight, we see the Meteor in action, with her twin engines roaring like a giant blow lamp. Touching 450 miles an hour, the Meteor shows she can climb as easily as she can dive. The pilot of the Meteor is a New Zealander, squadron leader R.M. Mackay, who told us... Uh, this is the Gloucester Meteor Mark III aircraft, built by the Gloucester Aeroplane Company of England. Uh, it is not the latest model. The Mark, it was the Mark IV which recently captured the world speed record. Mm -hmm. 